Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I am here today to celebrate a victory for Belgium over Russia, 3-0. The game was played yesterday. Now this is a challenge set, over, set up by Mark over at Book Times with Elvis. There are 20 countries participating in this uh, cup challenge, and every country is represented by someone on the booktube who is uh, been assigned to them. Now again, I was assigned Belgium and Belgium won. So by the rules of the challenge, I do not have to read anything by a Russian author or set in Russia. But I went ahead and read a Russian science fiction short story. And I did this because I, I just liked the premise of the challenge and I felt sort of left out by, by winning and not having to read something. So I went ahead and I just picked and, and, and read the story anyway. And I will continue to read a story by Denmark and then by Finland, regardless of whether Belgium wins or not. I, I just like to read it, so that's what I'm going to do. And at the very end of this challenge, whoever wins, I will read a book by that country. If Belgium wins, I will read another book by a Belgium author or set in Belgium. So what I did to prepare for this challenge is I have three short story anthologies. And I pick short stories because reading a whole book in between these games is just a little too daunting and I just do not have that time. But a short story is very doable. So I'm gonna show you my collections of short stories and I, I think they're all very good. The first one is The Art of the Story and that is edited by Daniel Halprin. Now this contains 20, 30, I'm going to look it up real quick, 20 or 30 stories from authors all over the world. And I have read about a dozen short stories from this anthology. And it covers a lot of the European countries in this cup challenge. Another book I have is the FWA European Hall of Fame. Now I have read every story in this book before. And it's almost all unit, all great. There's only one story in this anthology that I did not particularly like, but I like them all. And the story that I read yesterday was a reread from a story in this collection. But before I get to that story, I want to show you my third anthology. And this is something that I have not read any story by. This is the Valken Court Book of World horror short stories. And again, this contains horror short stories from all over the country. I have not read anything from here before, but I do plan to read a few selections for this challenge. Now, the story that I read from the science fiction anthology, the story is A Birch Tree, A White Fox by Elena Asnervenia. Now, I'm probably pronouncing that name incorrectly, but it is a story set in the far future featuring three cosmonauts traveling in the far galaxies and their uh, ship develops uh, problems and they decide to land on a Earth-like planet to make some repairs. However, they crash land and the ship is destroyed and the three cosmonauts escape relatively unharmed, and the, the, the commander of the ship goes back into the, uh, the commander of the ship goes back into their crashed vehicle and gets some uh, food out. And as he's returning, he speaks up and says, food's up, gentlemen, and the earth devours him. And what the two other cosmonauts quickly realize is that there is something on this planet that does not like the sound of a human voice. Now, when I was reading this, I thought the cosmos came to that conclusion a little too quickly. The author did put in some description that they were trained scientists and trained to deduce fast and correctly. Although it was just a little bit of a stretcher for me, although I, I let that slide. So the, the two co remaining cosmonauts have to explore this planet without speaking and the author goes into some details about the, the problems of communication. These cosmonauts do not know sign language and they do not have a lot of writing materials. 
But what happens is um, one of the two cosmonauts wigs out and tells the other one, watch out, something's wrong. Or I forgot the exact phrase, but he, he basically tells them, watch out. And the, the, the Earth devours him. And so there is only one cosmonaut remaining. And he, he goes about exploring and he's trying to set up a way for um, rescue. And he tries to write messages in the Earth saying, danger, human voice kills, or a, a phrase very close to that. And that's, that's about as far as I'll go with the description of the short story. Now, what this is, is it reminds me a little bit of the horror movie, A Quiet Place, where if you spoke, giant alien bugs would come out and eat you. Now, the only difference is that um, this story was published many years before that movie was made. So the, the idea of um, voices being dangerous existed before that movie. Well, that is my little mini review of this short story. If you like science fiction short stories, I do highly recommend picking up the SFWA European Hall of Fame collection of short stories. And this was edited by James and Catherine Morrow. Pick it up if you like science fiction stories. Thank you very much and have a good evening.